is no stranger to the Royal Albert Hall. A few times you've, uh, <laughs> you've performed there. And next week, the iconic venue plays host to the youth proms, which will see thousands of young people perform live, many of them from in and around the capital. Well, Barry Caffrey is with some of the children uh, preparing to take part. So let's head over to Waterloo Station, and you're going to explain why you're there. Yes, Riz, two groups of young children have been really busy here this evening at Waterloo Station performing for commuters. They started their performance around five o'clock. It lasted about an hour and a half. And everybody here in the station standing back to really enjoy it. It's all ahead of next week's Music for Youth service, which is taking place at the Royal Albert Hall. Well, to talk me through uh, the youth proms, I've got Jack Pepper with me. Jack, for people that don't know what it is, just explain it to me. So Music for Youth are a national charity who basically give the finest stages to the finest young people. So age 25 and under, across all musical genres. And next week, the Music for Youth proms, two days at the Royal Albert Hall, 3,000 young musicians coming together uh, to celebrate what music making can do. And we saw the two groups performing here at Waterloo Station. It must have been a fantastic experience for them. Were you proud? I was immensely, because this is all in the build-up. You know, I've got 25 minutes of my own music being played next week. So to meet the musicians, to see in a space like Waterloo Station, again, what a venue to be able to perform in before the Albert Hall. Well, let's Great. meet some of them now. We've got Eve. Uh, you are from the Newham Jazz Group. Talk to me about what it was like performing here at Waterloo. Um, it was a fantastic experience. I think being a young musician really gives you the freedom to be whoever you want to be. And I think New Music is a great example of that sort of diversity and that feeling of community. And are you excited for the youth proms next week? I'm incredibly excited. Yeah, I think it's going to be a night to remember. Well, good luck for it. I've got one of the music teachers here, Joanna Nicolau. Joanna, talk to me about how you have been involved in everything this evening. So I've got a group of um, seven string players, age seven to 13, and we're performing um, five pieces across different musical genre, and they've been preparing for, well, since uh, last July when they played at Birmingham, and uh, they're going to be putting, showcasing their talents, which are enormous, uh, next week at the proms. And talk to me about the importance of teaching music to children. You're a yeah, well, I, I can't say enough how important music is for children, their development, their concentration. Fantastic. Well, two of uh, your musicians are Darcy and Albert. Darcy, are you excited for next week? I'm incredibly excited. It'll be such a great night and it'll be really an incredible experience. And just very brief for you, how did you find it earlier today, Albert? It was a tremendously incredible experience. I mean, I've never performed in such a busy area before, and it's just amazing. Well, well done. Well, just to let people know, the Youth Proms takes place next week at the Royal Albert Hall on the 14th and 15th of November. Riz. Thanks very much, Barry, and good luck to all of them. Now, if you